What is epilepsy? Learn what epilepsy is and the surprising facts you probably didn't even know. Epilepsy has been on this planet as far back as time will take us. According to the Epilepsy Foundation of America, some of history's finest may have had epilepsy. People like Alexander the Great, Alfred the Great, West Saxon king and scholar, Hectic Ballers, French composer, Julius Caesar, St. Paul the Aristotle, Socrates, the Greek philosopher and mathematician, and Vincent van Gogh, the Dutch painter. Anyone could have epilepsy. Before we go any further, let us ask ourselves the question, what is epilepsy? Epilepsy is caused by sudden brief changes in a person's brain activity. When brain cells fail to function properly due to epilepsy, a person's awareness and movements may be altered, perhaps dramatically for a short period. These sudden physical changes in brain activity are called seizures. A person's brain cells usually transmit information to the rest of the body by way of orderly electrochemical signals. These signals are not transmitted randomly. They do not course pell-mell through the nervous system. They are rather transmitted selectively as some messages are inhibited and others allow continuing on. This selectively prevents crosstalk or message overload in the body's communication system. Occasionally, however, a group of brain cells simultaneously fires or discharges a large number of electrical signals that produce a temporary rise in activity in certain parts of the brain, disrupting a person's internal communication system. This is a seizure. A seizure disrupts a person's consciousness, much in a way a lightning storm can disrupt the electrical power supply. Many times when I would have a seizure, I feel as though my hand is in a socket and my arm is being electrocuted. The electrical feeling begins in my feet and travels up my leg through my body. Once the electrical feeling reaches my head, this is the moment where I lose consciousness. The worst part of my seizure is the feeling of this electrical current that travels throughout my entire body. So try closing your eyes for a moment and visualize a lightning storm and how it affects electrical power supply. This is very much what is happening inside a person's head when he or she is having a seizure. This disrupted overload of the brain activity causes strange movements, unusual changes in speech, a blank stare, and twitches of the eye, which are symptomatic of some seizures. A single seizure, bear in mind, does not necessarily signal epilepsy. Epilepsy involves recurrent seizures varying from one or more a day to once a month or even as a few as one or two in a year. Seizures have many causes. Epilepsy is only one of them. Having one or two seizures does not necessarily mean someone has epilepsy. Seizures can be caused by high fevers and alcohol withdrawal, for example. Epilepsy affects about 1% of the United States population, occurring 10 times more frequently than multiple sclerosis and 100 times more frequently than motor neuron disease. Epilepsy affects millions of people worldwide, and more than 2 million people in the United States alone have epilepsy. Statistics show that 1 out of 10 people will have at least one seizure in his or her life. 4 out of 100 will ultimately develop full-blown epilepsy. According to the Epilepsy Foundation of America, the causes of 70% of all cases of epilepsy are unknown. Unfortunately, most people do not understand epilepsy. I am doing this video to help people with epilepsy better understand their disorder and to educate the public. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments. Hit the like button below the video and 
share it with your friends. To see more videos like this, then click subscribe.